and now we're ready for you. Yep. Natalie, Natalie, now we're ready for you. All right. How are you? Good. How are you? Well, um, I think we're ready to start the planned upgrade for our courtroom recording equipment and software. And so I've got current prices that I gave to you guys. We're trying to do it in phases, so it's not quite as expensive. It's still going to be expensive, but the equipment itself will be that 15600 And then the software is that 3400 there. So we'd like to do that in phase one this year. And is this in your budget now? Yes, we budgeted for it last year. And just to kind of bring you up to speed, I did find out the last time, like, the sound system that's on here that we're going to do this year was replaced in either 08 or 09. So it's been around since then. And then the microphones and speakers that are in the courtroom were installed in either 95 or 96. So they've been around for quite a while. <clears throat> I take it you need our approval here to do this for now? I assume so, since it's over the limit that I can just spend. If not, I won't bother you next time. <laughs> <laughs> What's this, acoustic treatment? Um, for phase three, those are great big panels that go on the wall. If you've ever been in our courtroom, the acoustics are pretty bad. Um, court reporters complain about it a lot, people in the galley complain about it a lot you can't hear so those would be panels that get put up on the wall to help the sound and those are quite expensive so sure. judge barons thought maybe someone local could do something like that but we can address that two or three years down the line too so those won't be permanent Right. I think they're removable, yeah. If you've ever been to Stockton <clears throat> in their courtroom, they have them all the way around. I'm just concerned because everybody that goes in, I mean, I've had people stop my office and say, we have the most beautiful courtroom yeah. they've ever seen. And yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's, I know. That's my concern. Yeah, and those, those are optional. You don't have to do those, so. Mm -hmm. Well, and also with the um, historical yeah. status of the, the yeah. building, we have to be really careful. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that acoustic treatment is optional, and that optional mix-in at the end. If we're piecing this out over the next few years, those two aren't necessary. So basically it's just phase one, the sound system. Then next year will be the microphones and speakers. And then we'll go from there. On the phone support, how long will that be for the, if we have trouble? On the software? Yeah. Yeah, that's just for a year. Okay. And I feel like we need it at least for the first year to learn how to run the software and kind of troubleshoot. Matt Wilson has been involved with this too to okay. make sure we have all of the and he'll understand technical okay. stuff covered. So he might be able to help with some of that too. So what? It's about about twenty thousand is about what I come up with the fifteen thousand six hundred and three thousand four ninety four. And then 22, you got 
support, Brett, that you were asking, mm -hmm. that also covers any updates to that software. You know, okay. software updates all the time. So right. that's included in there. <coughs> and next year, is that a, I don't want to say a, just a guess, not a guess, but well, your numbers are nailed down already. Or? <coughs> I'm going to assume that this will be fairly close for next year's figures because I had them update this whole thing from okay. a year yeah. ago and they only went up a couple hundred dollars. Okay. So, so it'd, be, it'd right, be comparable. It'd be right in the neighborhood there. Yeah, I feel pretty sure about that. Unless something, I mean, drastic, drastic changes. But. So this will all fall in your budget that you planned? For this year, yes. Okay. And next year we'll probably budget for it? I will so. budget for it, yeah. I don't plan to change my budget for 2022 okay. compared to this year, so it should cover okay. that way over. In the, in the 23, we might not need it. Right. We can address that in 2023 or the end of 2022 and like judge baron suggested reach out to someone locally maybe someone here has the capabilities of doing that cheaper too the acoustic stuff mm -hmm. um he also suggested you can put cushions on the seats window treatments that kind of stuff too to help with acoustics it wouldn't be quite as expensive too so there's other options for that. Turn up the volume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Zoom. that. <laughs> <laughs> so. You need a motion, you said? I need a motion for this. <clears throat> I move we approve the 2021 and the 2022. I second. New sound system. I second it. And first and second it. All in favor? Come back in 23 and visit with us. Okay, so I won't need to come back and check with you for the 22 portion. Uh, and for budget year, you budget. better just approve the 21 yeah. and then come oh. back in 22. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Just sure, right. no problem. Okay. Okay. All in favor of that? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carried. Sounds good. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. We're ready for you, Larry. I don't know why I thought those vibratory compactors took up water. How are you guys doing today? Good, boy. Uh, how are you? Sorry I missed last week, but it was a little bit chilly. <laughs> I've got, got a plenty of them, Larry. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, you're fine. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm Larry Farnbrook. I'm from over here at Wood, and I'm, uh, Scott called me here a while back and uh, wanted me to come and visit with you again on the MASA, the Medical Transport Solutions. Thank you. And um, about to, it was in April of uh, 2019, I come on with this company, and from April till January of uh, last year, mm -hmm. I put on 900 people, and I have uh, about 30 groups. You know, I've got like Decatur County, Rollins County. I've got quite a few counties and schools and stuff. Basically, you know, I visited with you quite a few years ago. You guys are a Legal Shield account, but I just went to a lot of my Legal Shield people and said, "Hey, you need to look at this," and um, it's it's a really good deal. So. But anyway, last January I had my hip surgery done and then COVID come on. So I haven't uh, really done anything, put any new business on 
right now I feel that since this vaccination program stuff's going on, maybe I can get back in the country. You understand what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I've got a little over 200 groups in, in both of my businesses, and I never went and visited any one of them this year. I've done everything online, you know. But that I'm not an online person. <laughs> so anyway, NASA was, uh, uh, if you look in the folder here, um, uh, they was established in 1974. Uh, we actually have over 2 million members now. And uh, the, a bullet point on this is, is we do have a, a, a group program. Um, it takes three to make a group. Uh, and they discount it down. If you look on the regular internet, out on the internet for what, uh, if you buy it off the internet or you, they send these cards out and you go to these dinners, you know, uh, it's over 600, almost $700 a year. Um, I can sell that same plant personally for 460. I can sell it in a group for $160 a year. Now there's, there's a little bit, there are some differences on, on, the, on the group is uh, uh, there's a few benefits that aren't there, like as if, if you had your grandkids and you were in Texas on the regular personal plan, they would bring everybody home. Uh, you know, rely on transportation, your pets and everything. But that's discounted on the group plan. But as far as the group plan goes, we cover any provider, ambulances or choppers or fixed wings, any provider in the United States or Canada. And we do that for basically, call it $14 a month or $160 a year. Now, of the 900 people I put on, I have had quite a few carries, mm -hmm. to tell you the truth. Uh, you know, I, I can't get into any names or anything. Uh, we do have repatriation, which means if you're hospitalized away from over 100 miles from home, we will bring, line up to bring you back to a hospital, not to a nursing home or rehab center, but to a hospital. Okay, so basically what that means is if you're going to come back to a rehab center, you need to go into a swing bed before you're transferred to the nursing home. Okay, and that... Uh, if you're in an emergency or anything, nothing has to be cleared with MASA, but on a repatriation, which isn't an emergency, that w we ask that you call an 800 number, which is 24 hours a day or somebody, and, they, and we will line the transportation up. So there has been, I had one, one instance where there was a confusion there. The hospital went ahead and sent them out and didn't make the phone call. I did get it paid for, but but that's something that needs to be, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Yeah, okay, through it. Yeah, hours. yeah. Well, you just, it's an 800 number. And what I did with, after that happened, what I did with all my groups, I sent all of my groups the exact orders and everything so that the people that I sold, the, that had hand on the groups knew what needed to be done. Yeah. Okay, uh, is there any questions on the mass? I know... I've kind of went through this fast, but you know, basically, we don't own any, we don't own any choppers. We just we contract with them. Yeah, and we don't really contract with them. I mean, you know, everybody says uh, when I first got into this, I had one company says, "Well, they're no good because they won't contract with us." Well, we don't contract with it with anybody because we settle the deal on each one of what. Like if you needed real good, real more emergency care and it costs more money to haul you, you know, you'll get more money than if you were just, mm -hmm. you know, just basically transported. And the thing about it is, is we do pick up the ambulances and it does, whether they're in network or out of network. We cover like, you know, I've, there's instances where if you fly from here to Denver, uh, most of the ambulances in Denver are out of network. So if you get billed from them, sometimes the insurances won't pay for them or not pay very much. And what we do is go in there and settle on that. So, and, and I do know that, you know, um, these other companies, we're not trying to take any, anything away from them. We're actually, uh, like there's 
three, maybe four providers that drop into Atwood. We're saying if, if you got Life Save, which I heard they was bought by somebody else, but if you got them and Carney, Carney Midair picks you up, you know, if you don't have a plan with each one, you know, you got a 50-50 chance of paying the bill, you know, so. Um, no matter if it's Eagle Mad or whoever. Yeah, any any provider. Yeah, anywhere in the United States or Canada. Mm -hmm. And your your children are covered up to twenty six as long as they're on your tax rolls or in college, and they can be going to college in Florida and still be covered. Is this we have we have now. No, the one we have now we have LifeSave, and that's the company that's been bought out, and they're not doing. Um, life save the, the people that fly in here right now in the Saney are they were covered under life save and air med air med care, care. yeah well I so we had two different plans but the one I had a, excuse me I had I had Decatur County call me you know their group mm -hmm. they they pay for uh, they ended up paying for part of the deal because they were paying for, I think, life save. Anyway, they come in and, 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 and fringe part of it. And you can fringe part of it or pay all of it or whatever you want to do. But uh, Nora called me and, and with this new company come in and says, well, you don't need to have these anymore because, you know, in 2022, the, it's, gonna, it's going to uh, uh, take away all this uh, surprise billing and, mm -hmm. and this ain't going to happen. Well... Nobody knows for sure what this surprise billing bill is going to cover or what it's going to do. Mm -hmm. If it does make the insurance companies pay, you know, it's going to either make the deductibles higher or the insurance companies aren't going to pay as much and still going to end up some of it coming out of your pocket. So you're still going to need, still going to need, you can answer that if you need to. So, so you can still going to need somebody to help cover the cover the costs mm -hmm. you know now i don't know what uh from what i remember lifesaver or something was like 65 or i think on groups they were even cheaper than that a year you know you know and ours is 160 i knew i know but we cover all the all the bases you cover ambulance we, we cover mid-air care we cover cover the ambulances, like on your county ambulance, you, for instance, on your county ambulance, if somebody couldn't pay, or, or you know, if they ended up paying the ambulance bill or something because of the insurance, uh, you know, we would come in and, and help cover that county ambulance bill instead of the, most of the time the county ambulances end up beating most of that. We have two plans. Right? We have two plans. Well, we actually have just one plan now, and it's coming up due next month, I think. Because we have the two plans that covered the two major ones that flew you in. You had mid-air care and you had... had life safe. Okay. Now, mid-air care, they say they had reprepartation too, but if you read the contract, you had to spend more money to get it. You know what I mean? Their base base deal didn't cover repatriation. So basically, if you wanted to go with this, we could. I mean, one's gone. We could. We're just getting ready to renew the other one, so we could not renew that. So be down to one plan that would cover everything. And what I would do is, eh, what I like I did with Decatur County, they they're fringing it part of it. I would set you up on a payroll contract, a payroll deduction contract, but that doesn't mean that it has to be payroll deducted. You can fringe whatever part of that you want, but that's, that way we get the employees to each fill out an app with all of their information on family information and stuff, and then they would personally get a card with their name on it. You know, if you fringe it the other way, then the card, no, the name of your county would be on the card and you would have to hand the cards out. 
So, but it, I feel it's a lot easier just to do the, and then if you ever went down the road and decided you didn't want to pay for all of it or part of it or whatever, you could change it and it would be set up to be a payroll deduction because that's what they signed. And, uh, all right, boys, do we have 45? Here's a contract. Actually, I don't, that's 43, I believe. 43 or 45. We had both of them. What were we paying? I, I believe it was 15 for one and 25 for the other. So this is going to be quite a little higher. This, this is just a month. That's a month. That was a month. Well, hang on. No, that was a year. That was, was a year. year? Yeah. yeah. So you're paying, you was, you're paying basically half of what... You're paying right at half of what we got right now. If you were paying sixty or you paying seventy dollars a month, we're we're uh, or seventy dollars a year, we're one hundred and sixty. So, but you know, like what Decatur County did, they just the commissioners just went ahead and paid for paid for half of it, and and the employees paid for the other half, and all of them take it. But I mean, that's up to you guys. I'm not trying to talk you into one way or the other. So, and I know that you know we're higher, but we've got a lot more. Cover more. Lot, we've got a lot more coverage too. Well, I'm sure we can't decide on this today, can we? No, you don't have to decide. No, you don't have to decide on today. I just wanted him to come back in. Yeah. He's been here before. Well, you said it's one sixty-four. Ours is 160 a year. 160. 160. 14 dollars a month comes out to 168, but 160 is what we, what we. Uh, now, if you do any have anybody that's actually going overseas or basically out of the area. You could have to. You could have them. You could bump up to the thirty-nine dollar plan, and that will cover you in Europe, or it'll cover you in, in uh, overseas. You know, but this one here doesn't cover you overseas. It covers you anywhere in the United States or Canada. Is there, is there a plan that if some say if someone's going out, can they buy an extra insurance for that? Well, you just bump up to the thirty-nine dollar plan. You mean if you're going to go out? Individual, yeah. Yeah, they, you'd have to go to the individual, and then usually they ask you to pay for a year of that, and then if you go over there and come back, you could drop back down to the hundred and sixty. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're in the group, if you're right. doing, if yeah. you're doing it through the group. That's what I'm saying. If I wanted to go to yeah. Germany or something, yeah. I could bump it. I could bump. You could it bump up. it up. And that's the way I'll set up in the contract. If she reads the contract, we will set it up for both of them. And in that way, the group can do either one, whichever they want. And we'll also mark on there annually or monthly, which means the group can pay either way they want. So. Okay, I was way to, off on, okay. on what yeah. we pay. Sounds good. Lifesaver we were paying 35, Air Med Care was 65. So that'd be 110. So it's 100, 110 a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. So anyway, uh, well, is there any other questions? I mean, uh, I don't have any more questions right now because well, I think we got the information we need okay. to discuss okay. it. And and Scott also asked me to uh, uh, pass out. He said you had some identity theft issues. Uh, whoops. That's my bad. <laughs> whole state has it. Huh? The whole state has it. Well, I know. And it's with, I mean, I've got, I mean, one week I had like 22 or three calls for my groups on the identity theft. Uh, Legal Shield, we've got, the, we've got the legal side, and then we also have the, the identity theft side. We've been in been in identity theft uh, since 2003. We actually have one of the 
uh, most elaborate uh, uh, programs out there that 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 tracks and keeps track of you. And we also have uh, in in a group. If we set you up in a group, uh, you've got a million dollar protection policy. And this policy can be used for lawyer fees, lost money fees. Or if you lose some money, uh, it, it's set up. It's not just. Uh, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is uh, the money can actually be used for something that will come back to you. Mm -hmm. Understand what I mean? Not just that they'll hire a lawyer for you or whatever, but if you lost some money on a on a real estate transaction or something and it qualifies, you'll get a check. And there's a million dollars policy on that. And what I, uh, uh, one thing that goes on, I did kind of put a, uh, in the packet here, there's a, uh, this one here says affordable identity theft for privacy. This is kind of a, a, bid, a bid sheet. This actually goes down through and specifically tells exactly what the plan does on the front and the back. And then down here, uh, the prices are uh, 8 dollars individually. So your employees could hire, could buy a plant, individual plant, just would cover them only, or if they wanted to cover their family with this, it would be eighteen ninety five a month. And we are set up with this. And you're already a group, so you don't have to, you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. But if you know, I don't know. He, I haven't been around. Usually, I come around every year to see you guys, but I haven't been around. But he wanted me to visit with you guys. Just just to bring it back. Uh, bring it back around, and mm -hmm. and so you can. You actually been a group of this, and I actually, uh, I, I don't know, did I send you the, I think we got uh, five that's on, mm, yeah, I think so. on uh, what I'm saying on, uh, we got four on payroll, three or four on payroll, and the rest of them are on bank draft. We got a bank draft group, which you don't see. Okay. So, uh, kind of looked that over, and, uh, um, you know, we can... Uh, Revisit with the employees, but I do think it's uh, this um, this uh, identity theft is getting to be a big issue. We've had big issue, big issue. A lot of employees hit with it this year. So. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. If you don't have any other questions, and Scott can get in touch with me. And, thank you. Thank you for coming. And uh, we can get things set up if you want. Take that cow that makes too much methane gas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks, Larry. Thank you. Okay, well, I guess that'll bring Elmer. Bring it for us. Thank you. Visiting about Lions Club, you're probably all aware we have one here. It's, uh, I guess, the only service club still existing in Cheyenne County. We used to have a Rotary Club, and we used to have AAUW, and all kinds of groups that have all disappeared. Lions have managed to hang on. We got a small group here. Some of our people, you know, Bill, and Jim, uh, Hale, Jim Hale, we moved in. He lives in the Follett House where Bert oh, okay. Follett used to live. Chris, she's a Maybe Lions Club. She's interested in them, and you can be too if you like to be a lion. We'd be glad to have this. This yellow brochure it gives you an idea of what lionism has done to St. Francis. We're ready to celebrate our 70th anniversary this spring, so we'll probably have some kind of event. You're welcome to come and be part of it. You, and uh, gives you all information what we do uh, through the years we've done. And, uh, one question I got. A question we have. The shelter right here. We're going to do some work on it and try to. The electricity shut off, as I understand right now. Is it? They say it runs through the courthouse building. The 
Is there a switch box down? You know, we direct contact with city on that. They 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 take care of all. Well, maybe Shelley knows if it it's comes in here. It's a city. city element. City where they, is it? But does it run through the courthouse? The actual no. no. Christie. So. Where does it come from? I'm I'm not sure where they have it coming. We have checked it. They would yes. know when they can get. Yes. It. We're yes. turned on. We're going yes. to when the electricity is designed, and I don't. I don't know why they've shut it off. I guess in winter time you so probably don't need to plug into the anything. Turns on the power out there. Okay. Uh, there's some place inside the courthouse that turns on the power to those. Uh, I'd still talk to the city about it. They would yeah. yeah. manage that. I wonder if that hadn't been changed. Mm -hmm. I think that, that may have been changed. I I'm not aware of it. Mm -hmm. So. But there's a problem, and I don't know what needs to be. I know sometimes I was up here and this kind of thing. What goes on? They tell me that middle restroom over here is always, it's always open, supposedly. But it wasn't a few, a month or so ago, because I went over there to, I, when you were shut down here, that's, that meeting, you had a meeting a few yeah. months ago. The whole thing was shut down here. The restrooms that, are. That's the city. Also. Yeah, that, that, that's the that's city, city again on that. Okay. Yeah. The, the city. The city takes care of both of the parks. The, the county leave. owns them. It's the you city them, that they take that care they of. Okay. Care of yeah, they we clarified on that. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we are seventieth anniversary, and uh, so if you got any questions about that? Well, we meet at our house. We, we, we used to meet at a place and it cost us twenty dollars a month to meet there. So we decided I'll give it to them gratis. They won't have to pay anything. We make we get a big group on what we'll do. Maybe big build a bigger house, I guess. But uh, anyway, the other th thing I wanted to visit with you about uh, along with this is bridges out of poverty. Are you aware of this or not? There's a whole program. Atwood is using this to. They're in the phase two of this thing of. How do we help people? And they tell me you have people in poverty in Cheyenne County. I don't know who they are. We all think we're in poverty, I think. But uh, I don't know where you're in the poverty line is. And how, but there's a whole work program that does that. And this lady down here, uh, Julie Chahoy, is planning to be at our lines meeting on the 15th of March. So if you'd like to come and listen to what she has to say. But I'm concerned about it. How do we help? I'm, I'm assuming that people in poverty don't pay taxes, but if you're not in poverty, yet, you don't pay as much tax. They'll pay it through their food. But how do we help people? I think that's the whole thing. The lines, our motto is we serve, and I think your motto ought to be we serve. How do we serve together to make our community and our world a better place? And this is one thing here, and I don't know. Uh, maybe you've got some thoughts on that, how we begin to help. If there are people in, say, in Cheyenne County in poverty, how we help them to possibly get out of it, you know, and it's, it's a tough deal, from mm -hmm. what I understand. You said it was the 15th of March she was going to be here? 15th of March, yeah. Okay. We have a lines meeting at our house at 15th okay. of March, 7 o'clock, 15th of March. This is a document. They had a special event down at Atwood where I got a hold of this last fall, last winter. They had a big deal. And they've gotten some people, there's people who are willing, people in poverty are willing to to try to help tell to get out in this group of people. and. And they tell me it's a whole different mentality that we don't even speak the same language as people in poverty. We don't understand them and they don't understand. I guess most of us consider ourselves middle class. I don't think any of you are in the 1%, uh, the the one percent And so there's it's a whole learning experience. And I'm talking to Ministerial Alliance about it too. I'm concerned that you as commissioners, that uh, this might be something you want to be deeply committed to and working. How do we do this? Because it affects our whole society, and how do we work together to do it? Uh, yeah, it pro probably affects our sheriff and except our probably yeah. affects our sheriff and our mm -hmm. attorney. It affects know, everybody. Well, yeah, she deals with that all the time. I'm sure that there's a, a lot of her work is dealing with some of that, you know. and uh, so. Now the question that I just heard a little bit ago about the recycle, our re, the recycle thing, they're closing thing down at, at Colby, that's what's being liquidated, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to continue Bird City and St. Francis, our re recycle center will continue, and I know the <coughs> stuff, I was up here yesterday, we got tons of stuff everywhere, the thing is full of yeah, we're containers gonna, that have been, and they send somebody, a guy works up there a lot of the time, I see him up there. The cities are going to continue it, yes they are. 
in in some form. I, we don't we don't know yet. It's not. You know, we we'll have to wait and see what happens with everything else. Sure. But and heard a few minutes ago, Natalie. I hear something about here. We're working microphones in the. Did I hear something about microphones and speakers in the courtroom? Did I miss on? I come here and I don't hear most of what you're saying. I'm hearing aids. <laughs> they're they're doing the sound and recording system in it's the courtroom. Three year period, three year time frame. Right. For me, it'd be helpful. Even here, I sometimes wish you guys had microphones so I could hear what you were saying. As you talk, everybody talks in soft tones. Right. And uh, so that's something to think about, too. So people. Out here, I don't really hear it. Can you hear me back there? Huh? No. <laughs> okay, so you, you have, your ears are good, mine aren't. But that's something to think about. I think that people had that uh, us impaired people, and and we talk talk in soft tones, and uh, we don't hear. And so the other thing we talk about, Bill is here, and he's done a lot of work. I know you've seen the paper. There's been pictures in the paper. I have he's seen. He's done a lot of work on cleaning up our roadways and. He's really concerned about we are to his lions. We're doing a lot of this. Our, some of our volunteer work is cleaning up the highways along with the VFW. Bill, you want to share a little bit what you have yeah. in mind here on that? Well, I, I know I've driven through that road and seen seen you picking up trash, and sure do appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Well, what I want to talk about basically is, is a community pride program. You go all over town. Well, for example, right out here uh, to the east of the courthouse, there's trash cans. I just drove in far. There's a uh, water bottle sitting there right on the road, 10 feet from the trash can. I see this all over town. When I go down and get the mail, I stop to pick up trash. They're going down. Uh, on the roadway last May, I cleaned up around the cemetery in preparation for Memorial Day. Then I started on the road to Wheeler. Little by little, I got volunteers to help out. But when I went to organize a clean up along Highway 36, I advertised it in newspapers and everything else. Now the VFW and the Legion or uh, uh, Lions Club members, we showed up, and nobody from the community showed up. And what I'm asked for is your help and support in organizing. And we're planning on the 10th of April, Saturday, um, at two o'clock, trying to get the community together as a whole and clean up the town, clean up our roadways, at least at least to Wheeler and back and stuff like that. I'm going to be talking to the city council on the 8th about this too, just not zero in on you. But I'm asking for your help to ask people within your respective districts if they'll come and help clean up our county and then try to keep it clean. What day is that? Uh, the 10th, 10th of, of April. April. At 10 o'clock, you said? Uh, 10 because, uh, oh, two, well, two to four, isn't it? We've said or, two, I'm sorry, two to two four in the afternoon. So, because so I know our, have our Bird City uh, Community Club is, is going to have our trash day. Yeah. And I'm not sure if that's the day or when it is, so. I'll see in, in District 1 there, uh, you know, you can do that on your own. But I'm concerned about District 2 and 3, mm -hmm. which surround St. Francis, but definitely appreciate your help as well. Mm -hmm. But what I'm asked for, and like I said, I'll talk to the City Council on the 8th. Of March about this to try to get people in the county or in the city and the surrounding area uh, together to pick up. Now, I pick up so many beer cans, 9th Street, the Angle Road, the road around the cemetery, the <coughs> road to uh, Wheeler. fact is, if you go out and look in the back of my van, it's completely filled with trash right now from yesterday. I drive the road between here and Wheeler twice a week normally Sunday afternoon or Monday morning, then Thursday, because I know Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday it's going to get filled with trash again. And a lot of it is beer cans, plastic bottles, pop bottles. I picked up Kentucky Fried Chicken boxes, Arby's, McDonald's, all that other stuff. People come that far distance and throw the trash out on that road. And something needs to be done about this. It, it, to me, it doesn't make any sense. And, and I'm asking for your support to help talk to the public, and let, let's clean up the county. I've been in towns where you wouldn't find so much as a pop bottle lid on the ground. You know, I've been in places where it just totally trashed out. Know, if we let it, this path continue, slowly by slowly, our town's going to die. People don't want to move to a town that's all trashed out. We got a lot of people moved because of the virus, but some of them moved on down the road too. I'm just asking for your help to help us clean up the, uh, you know, the county as a whole and talk to people, if you will, please. Thank you. Thank you.
Any anyway. questions do you have? And do you have what's that? Brother? I was going to say I know our our church cleans from town to like uh, our Methodist church used to I think on yeah. Warren Psycho was here. He did it. Yeah. Young people and they I had don't a know the section. That I don't think they have Warren's it anymore. I think they. I don't know. Does the DOT still? I don't know. If they still do that or not? Whether different groups can take usually a two mile stretch. I think it was right that they had, and I don't know if they're doing that anymore or not. I, but that because I know they so. did by my place. They'd go out out here by the car wash. They have a two mile section. I think that they did, but I don't think it's there anymore. I don't. I think the side. I don't think on. they've I had think, one since Warren's yeah, left. So but there, it <laughs> it was always fascinating what they'd find. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I got I got paid a dollar one. I'm not like cleaning by my place. Found a dollar bill in the ditch. My wife so found got, a twenty dollar bill one time doing it. <laughs> what did you say about the eighth of March? I didn't catch uh, that. The, the 8th of March, I'll uh, be in front of the city council. Oh, okay. For All right. Uh, I, I picked that up, but I didn't know what you were saying. Well, the church group, because I sometimes clean up uh, clean up on my own to the top of the hill, go east and mm -hmm. around. The church group is not cleaning that up anymore. Or if they are, it's, it's very irregular. Uh -huh. I make that lap about twice a month, go to the top of the hill and down, down that. Mm -hmm. I even clean up the, the county park or the roadside park. Very good. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for what you're doing. Well, I guess uh, next we have a uh, tri state Thresher Association with Mr. Clipper here. Thank you for the visit. Okay. Well, this is just a follow up. We, that one meeting, we had a little discussion about the alcohol, tobacco, and firearms thing. Mm -hmm. So I worked this up and Kind of review it a little bit. Uh, last year when we hosted the jet, did you get one? Yeah. There you go. Uh, let me borrow yours then. On the, road. Uh, the JI case, they had the state flags, and so we took them from the schoolhouse and lined up along that whole thing there, and we had a lot of positive comments on that. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, we're not very familiar with state flags, and they, they, I thought that was really something. So what I did, I just worked up with a with the 50 state flags and uh, what we have done over in Bird City is we just put uh, rebar in the ground and then we slipped the conduit over the top mm -hmm. and that works real well. I did ask around about in some other areas and they said what well, was nice if you put the name of the state because even if you see the state flag some of them don't recognize which state right. it is from. So I just went down to Heartland and, and Heritage and I went over to Hot Brush and said hey what would it cost to do this? So. Uh, the U.S. Flag Company, that's where we buy most of all of our flags, they're the, probably the best uh, bargain, uh, and that's where we buy all of our American flags. Uh, Heartland, that's, that's just straight conduit, we don't get nothing fancy, just regular half-inch conduit. And uh, uh, the clamps that go around it, uh, rebar, uh, just half-inch rebar, and what we do is take them to a grinder and grind them all so they slip in and out of the poles real good. And then Hot Brush, I proposed to him, and he said normally that sign like that is Twenty dollars, but he liked the idea, and he's been pretty good over the years at helping us with community projects. And he said, "Rod, I'll do that for half price or ten dollars a sign." So, if indeed, if you're interested, uh, uh, the, the money would be used to do this. We'd use it on the Fourth of July, on the street going into Bird City from the highway all the way down uh, during that thing, and then during our show, we put it up during our show every year uh, thing. And of course, if anybody here in St. Francis so desired to use them, what? It certainly be welcome to any time. So, so that's what it is, and you know I can appreciate your consideration. And uh, Rollins County, they did theirs for McDonald, and they just bought a hundred flags and and did that. But we don't need a hundred flags. We've got American flags, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, they're the same type of thing. So, it's just like I said, we visited about it briefly the other day. Any questions? It, you're asking to settle for one thousand seven hundred twenty-five dollars from the uh, alcohol, alcohol to what is it alcohol special tobacco. alcohol tax. I just wanted to yeah well I should have said that shouldn't I <laughs> <laughs> yeah so anyway any questions other than that and who who's in charge of the of that money sir? that alcohol what do you mean. Uh, uh, evidently, we have money that comes in from that, right? Mm -hmm. And does that go in our general? No, it's a special line item. It's mm -hmm. its own fund. Okay, and, and who's basically in charge? Us? 
Oh. As to the expenditure? Yeah. Yes. As to the balance? That's the treasurer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And as, a, as I've had it, we got it for four for different projects out of that. So, so, it's, so, what is in that if we wanted to do that? Okay, okay. She wasn't in, so I don't. Oh, okay, and uh, all right, that's all I had. Okay. Well, thank you, Ron. Right. We'll try to check. On all right. If you guys want to, you can just table it until the next meeting. Look at okay. the balance that's in the account, and then you can vote on it at the next meeting. Does yeah, that I, do I, do I don't even need to come back, probably, do I? No, because nope. they have the proposal. Uh, but then that way we can get yeah, you know, the numbers see. together, and they can yeah, vote on it you. next meeting. Thank you all. Okay. Okay. Thanks, yeah, Ron. We'll, we'll yeah, just yeah. go ahead and table that then. Yeah, okay. just the table it, meeting. and then... Um, get there the, is just certain things that can be spent on, correct? Right. It has to be recreation. Recreation is that mm -hmm. happy? What's that? Outdoor activities, classifies. family activities, recreation, yeah. recreational type activities. Could that be classified as recreation? Or? We'll give it to the county. Yeah, because it's an outdoor county. family event. We'll give it to the county. Mm -hmm. the board last yeah. year, mm -hmm. two years, two years ago. ago. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll like I said, we'll, we're going to table that then, and then we already spoke with Dave. Yep. So is that, is that Do you guys want to talk about the mass of anymore? You want to table that to the next meeting? Uh, if we kept doing both of them before at 110, 110. it's going to cost us another 2150 to go with the 160 with 43 employees. Right. But about what seven thousand dollars? He's been talking with you. Do you know anything about about him? He's been here before, uh, but we had those two others: um, Life Save and Medicare. He's been paid up for a year. That's if you've been. Yeah. You get flown out. Right. Is, is this the guy that came in a couple of years ago and was telling us about it? If you had your animal with you and yeah. somewhere else, that they would fly that back and what have you? Yeah, it's close to 7,000. Do, do we have to give the other people a chance to no. rebid? So on the... But Eagle Med or Air Med, what does I know that covers flying there? That doesn't cover ambulances, no, just for flying. This is the okay. only one that covers ambulances. Well, okay. And the problem is, the last time I got flown out, yeah, Eagle was Med good. was busy. Oh. So they sent another company out. Well, I didn't have insurance. Yeah. See, this will cover $30. It cost me a lot of money out of pocket. And also, and then we decided to pick up an, another company, yeah. which makes sense, yeah. But so there, we, we had two companies, but that doesn't mean. Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't mean the two of them won't be busy sometime. I don't. I know we don't have a lot of employees with little kids. I mean, there's a few, but if there's a child one that comes out of Colorado that's not covered either. So now mm -hmm. we'd be covered. And then when you Every, get, everything else. Even then if when you get to like Corny or Hayes, Ellis County or whatever, Corny's County, yeah. they pick you up an ambulance and take you from the airport to the hospital. That's not all paid. This will cover it all. Okay. No matter where you are. No matter where you are. No matter what company picks what you up. What state or whatever. And we're for an extra two thousand dollars. It's a nice benefit for the employees. Yeah, I agree. And we, we, we as a county would cover the whole thing? Or yeah, that's a benefit. It's covered. But it's if, gonna, if, if it's going to cost more. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know if we have it in our budget. I'm sure we do. Yeah. But 
I have a problem with paying half of it or part of it. Does the does employee want to do that? They might not. This way it's just all of it's covered and don't have to worry about it. Well, maybe you think we ought to pay part of it. I don't know. Let the employees pick up part. We're paying all of it now, right? But we're only paying about... You're paying 110 and more. Well, we were. Well, we, yeah, we were. I'm talking last year. I guess probably the only thing would be is if, if we have it in our budget then to raise that much. Can we... Uh, can I know we, it's there because it comes out of the benefits. What's your opinion on it? My opinion? Uh, uh, I mean, if you don't do it, you're taking away a benefit, you know, half a benefit or whatever. But, I mean, it's it's good for the employees. It saves them a lot of money if something ever happened. What do you think? I agree. Um, I think it's one of those situations where it would be a good benefit for the employees, and I think that the county should go ahead and cover that, because if you leave it to each individual employee as to if they will or will not take advantage of it, if they don't and then something happens, then, you know, right. it, it's, it still falls back on them, but it does cause hard feelings and not knowing who is or who isn't, and it's, it just seems to me it's just more clear cut to say, county's gonna provide this, here you go. So do we want to take care of this now? If you want to, um, you need to make a motion. If you want to table it to the next meeting, we can table it to the next meeting. I don't. If we're going to do it, let's do it. Because we're not covered. <laughs> yeah. yeah, as of right yeah. now. And I guess I'm, I'm looking at it for myself. <laughs> I might fly out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> don't my luck yet. <laughs> I don't know anything about what policy you're talking about that was, but if this is a better policy, I'm... Yeah, okay. it is. Okay. Do you we think so? <coughs> we don't know. We haven't yeah. used it. I've yeah. talked to other county clerks. Um, I know Norton County, they've had people use it, no complaints. So, and everybody else, there's been no complaints on it. So, so we're going to have more coverage than we did have for... Forty dollars more, or fifty dollars more per year per employee's family. So it's, well, I mean, it's minimal. This will, if there is like even if you'd have an ambulance pick you up at the house, yeah. it'll cover that. It'll cover what your insurance company or insurance doesn't pay. Right. So it'll cover that also. <laughs> well, 